Hi, Mr. Richards here, and this grade 6 practice problem review covers unit 3, lesson 16, finding the percentage. And so problem 1, a sign in front of a roller coaster says you must be 40 inches tall to ride. What percentage of this height is 34 inches and 54 inches? Let's cover the 34 inches first. And one thing you can do here is if 40 is the entire hole, 34 is the part that we're looking for here, we can take 30 4, it's supposed to be 34, and divide it by 40. Once we take 34 and divide it by 40, you can get 0 0.85. And once you get 0.85, move this decimal place two spots to the right to get a final solution of 85%. So if you're 34 inches tall, you're 85% of the height you need to be. Now, what about the 54 inches? Same idea here. 54 is still going to go on top, and 40 is on the bottom. You need to be 40 inches to ride, and you should be expecting a percentage bigger than 100% here because you're tall enough to ride if you're 54 inches tall. And sure enough, 54 divided by 40 is 1.35. And when we move our decimal place over two spots to the left here, we get a solution of 135%. In our second question, at a hardware store, a tool set normally cost $80. During a sale this week, the tool set cost $12 less than usual. What percentage of the usual price is the savings? Explain or show your reasoning. And now there's a couple different ways to get to the answer. But let's first make sure we understand what the question is asking. What percentage of the usual price is the savings? So we need to look at our savings... over the usual. Well, how much do we save? The tool set costs $12 less than usual, so we're saving $12. And we can divide that by the usual amount, which it normally costs $80. When we take 12 divided by 80, we get the decimal 0 0.15 and so move your decimal point over now from a decimal to a percent two spots to the right and our solution here is 15 percent so what percentage of the usual price is the savings 15 percent this is such a fun problem a bathtub can hold 80 gallons of water the faucet flows at a rate of four gallons per minute what percentage of the tub will be filled after six minutes? Well, how much water has come out after six minutes? If we're going at four gallons per minute, and we multiply that by our six minutes, that means we've used 24 gallons of water. Now, what percentage of the tub will be filled we can look at our 24 gallons used, divide it by our 80 gallons of water total, and we get 0 0.3. Now, just a word of advice, this is not 3%. What, deaths or what number is in our hundredths place here but a 0? And so when we move this decimal point over two spots to the right here, we end up with 30 percent of our or is our solution. So 24 gallons out of 80 is 30 percent of the tub being filled in those six minutes. The sale price of every item in a store is 85 percent of its usual price. So we're saving 15 percent, but the sale price is 85 percent of its usual. The usual price is 30. What's its sale price? Well, one option here is to take 30 times that 85%. Now, again, I said one option. You could take 30 times 0 0.85, which is our percentage as a decimal. When you do that, 
you get 25.5, and don't forget the penny, so $25.50. Your other option is to take this and multiply it by 85 over 100. Now, 85 over 100 simplifies to 17 over 20 if you divide the top and bottom by 5. And then you work that out and you will eventually get $25.50. And so whether you take the decimal route, 0 0.85, 85 hundredths is 85%, or the fraction route, you get $25.50 as your solution. What about number two? The usual price is $18. What's its sale price? Well, just to keep this simple and keep it moving along, I'll take 18 times the 85% here. Once I do that, the solution is 15.3. Now, don't forget that penny, so $15.30. Number three, the usual price of a soccer ball is $24.80. What's its sale price? Well, $24.80 times the 85% here gets us, kind of a crazy number here, but $21.08. Going all the way back to lesson nine for problem five, a shopper needs 48 hot dogs. The store sells identical hot dogs in two differently sized packages. They sell a six pack of hot dogs for $2.10 and an eight pack of hot dogs for $3.12. Should the shopper buy eight six packs or six eight packs and explain your reasoning? Let's see what a um, one pack costs for each. And so if we look at our six pack of hot dogs here for $2.10, $2.10 for six packs. Well, if we take our $2.10 and divide by six, we end up with 35 cents for one pack. Let's compare that to the eight pack of hot dogs for $3.12. Well, if we set up $3.12 divided by 8. Here we get 39 cents for one pack. And so once we have it down to that unit price, we're going to go, wow, the six pack is cheaper. So they should get eight six packs since the unit price is cheaper. And moving on to our last question here, question six from lesson four in this unit. Elaine is 56 inches tall. What's her height in centimeters, knowing that 100 inches is 254 centimeters? Let's get that part done first. If I have 56 inches over one, and I multiply that by my fact that 254 centimeters is equal to 100 inches, the inches as a unit cancels out. And so I need to take 56 and multiply it by 254, and that is 14,224 centimeters for those 100. Divide by 100 now, and this becomes 142 and 24 hundredths centimeters. So that's part one. Part two now to finish the question, how do I get that height into meters? Well, 100 centimeters equals one meter. And so if I take this 142 and 24 hundredths centimeters over one, multiply it by the fact that one meter is 100 centimeters. What I'm actually doing here then is just dividing 142 and 24 hundredths divided by 100, and I get a final answer here of 1 
and let's see, 4,224 ten thousandths meters. And there we go. That's it for this grade six practice problems review on unit three, lesson 16, finding the percentage. Good luck.